farmer suicides we we know about them right do you know that a lot of the farmer suicides were not entirely due to just crop failure or uh, high rates of borrowing from market we talk of all those things right we say microfinancing in india is a huge problem we talk of those things what we do not talk of is the fact that a lot of those farmers had to die because a lot of their debt was due to cultural reasons not economic reasons huh the man had to spend lavishly on the daughter's wedding he has to he is supposed to because we are beasts now how does he spend on the daughter's wedding by borrowing so he borrows from the local money lender at some arbitrary rate and that rate is usually a monthly rate you know it does not sound too big so he would say for example 1.5% but that's a 1.5% monthly rate hmm? so when you look at the compounded annual rate it's huge very huge so he borrowed that money for the daughter's wedding obviously couldn't repay what does he do he is a social animal he has to carry his respect he said fine instead of being exposed and humiliated every day in front of the money lender and the entire village and my relatives and everybody i choose to end my life not necessarily the money is borrowed for the wedding it could even be borrowed for uh, the entire uh, uh, set of functions spread over two weeks that follow somebody's death we do not want to cover that aspect of farmer suicides we do not want to think of female feticide we do not want to think of of uh, the relative uh, lack of literacy among women especially in the northern states women are still a full 10 percentage behind men when it comes to literacy in the northern states why is that so think and even if you say that men have an 82% rate and women have a 72% rate approx that uh, does not tell the whole story the boy would be sent to a college offering professional courses in a distant city at a high fee so the boy has been allowed to pursue an engineering degree huh in a good college 800 kilometers away and the cost of that degree is 8 lakh rupees that's the fees spread over 4 years the girl has been told to pursue ba or bcom from a local degree college on paper it would be said that the father was very fair and both the brother and the sister the son and the daughter are graduates btech and ba on paper there is no difference both are just graduates really there is a great difference the father decided not to spend on the girl's education because he knew he would have to anyway spend on the girl's wedding so he said i am saving money from her education i will spend it on her wedding so that the entire town can have a great tamasha one night tamasha the boy wanted to pursue cricket as hobby hmm? so in a in a local club he got himself admitted and the father happily paid the membership the girl she was not allowed to cultivate any hobby hobbies all cost money 
a cricket bat or a tennis racket cost money the father said why spend on her i am anyway going to spend on her wedding the boy was gifted a huge bike the girl kept begging for a little scooty for very long why because the father knew that anyway he'll have to give a car to her as a part of dowry package so you are anyway going to get a car hmm? why <coughs> ask for uh, other vehicles beforehand the matter is still not complete the law since independence says that the son and the daughter will have equal right over the father's property that's on paper that does not actually happen what happens de facto when the girl is being married off she is told you already now have your share of the property think of all the money we have spent on your wedding and all the dowry gifts you are being given so you have already received your share of the property now please sign here to declare that you are not interested in the father's property in the ancestral property anymore now the brother will keep all the property so that's what happens on the ground the law has kept itself clean on the paper ideally but the ground situation is very different and a lot of that has to do with these lavish weddings <clears throat>